What's up guys, Jake here with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna go over five things to consider when thinking about towing a fifth wheel with a truck. Some of those things are gonna be whether it's a long bed or a short bed, different types of payloads that different vehicles have, gas versus diesel, and a few other things you might need to know. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the length of your bed. Here we have three different lengths of beds. We have a short, a regular, and a long bed with us. The difference in these lengths are gonna mean a couple of different things. The longer your bed is means the further your axle is going to be back from the engine, and this is going to cause you to have more leverage to be able to tow a load um, a lot better. Um, usually what it means is it's going to increase your towing capacity and your payload capacity, but all that is going to depend on what year, make, and model that you specifically have. Um, the other thing that your bed length will determine is what type of fifth wheel hitch you're going to be able to use. So with our short bed, this is five and a half foot long, um, we're going to have to use a standard fifth wheel hitch with the Reese Sidewinder, which is going to be a kingpin that mounts to the camper itself and will pivot at the camper and not on the fifth wheel head itself. You just have to use those because of the limited cab clearance. With our standard bed, we can use a standard hitch with a standard kingpin if our camper matches up. Maybe if we have an older camper which whose nose doesn't stick out so far forward, um, we might be able to get by with the standard of both options. Um, you can use a sliding hitch, which is usually what we recommend, or you can use that standard fifth wheel hitch with the Sidewinder combo um, that we just referred to for the short bed. Uh, with the long bed, it's gonna be the easiest because you can get by with just a standard kingpin and a standard fifth wheel hitch. Now, one general rule of thumb that we've heard from many different people is that you buy your truck to fit your camper, not your camper to fit your truck. And the reason why people say this is because if you end up buying a camper to match your truck, you're gonna end up settling for something that you maybe don't like as much as another camper. Um, now, this is all saying that you can afford to buy a new truck and a new camper. Um, if you just so happen to have a truck that can haul a bunch, then your market is going to be much broader for the different fifth wheels that you can afford. When we're talking about weight ratings, you want to consider the gross vehicle weight rating, which is going to be the weight of the vehicle itself plus the payload included. The payload of your vehicle is going to be the passengers and the driver and all of the contents inside of the vehicle plus the pin weight since we're talking about a fifth wheel camper. The gross combined weight rating is going to be the vehicle, the contents inside, and the weight of the trailer. Both of these numbers, the gross vehicle weight rating and gross combined weight rating, can usually be found on the inside of your driver door um, displayed with the acronym subscribing both. So um, in the case of our 1500 here, the gross vehicle weight rating is 7,100 pounds. The gross combined weight rating is 15,000 pounds. So essentially our trailer can weigh no more than 7,900 pounds to get that 15,000 pound total. Now, if you don't wanna do all that math to figure out what your GVWR, your GCWR, and your payload is, you can find all that information in the owner's manual of your vehicle. This will also tell you what towing capacity your vehicle has based off of the motor and drivetrain that came with your vehicle. The next topic is going to be gas versus diesel. Um, the biggest difference is going to be your torque. Um, diesel is always going to have a lot more torque than a stock gas motor. Um, and this comes in handy when you're hauling heavier campers. So when you get up into your fifth wheels, usually we recommend looking into, seriously looking into um, buying a diesel truck if you're above that 10,000 uh, pound GVWR rating uh, for, your, for your camper. So um, like with my, this is my 2500, it has a gas motor in it and my trailer weighs exactly 10,000 pounds. So 
Um, I'm right on the border. It would be a lot more comfortable towing, um, mainly because a diesel is also going to weigh a lot more. A motor, a diesel motor, depending on what model you have, may weigh close to twice as much as a gas motor on the same model truck. So that's another piece of counterweight that you have hanging off the front of your vehicle um, to help make it a more comfortable ride when towing your fifth wheel trailer. Now when it comes to single rear wheel versus dual rear wheel, um, you may be considering one versus the other and wondering why one would use one over the other. Basically the only difference is when you get into those heavier campers like 12,000 pounds or heavier, you're gonna maybe want to consider looking at a dually. And the reason is the payload capacity and the towing capacity is going to be much higher on a dually because of the four wheels in the back and it's going to give you a much more comfortable and stable ride when hauling that heavy trailer. Now the one benefit of having a vehicle with the factory prep package in the bed is that all you're gonna to have to do is buy the fifth wheel hitch that goes in the puck system in the bed. Now this, you do not have to buy a truck with the prep package in it. You can just either get a gooseneck like I do and use a uh, fifth wheel adapter that goes into a gooseneck or you can get the in-bed rails and then you can purchase your fifth wheel head after that. Well guys, hopefully this video was able to help you to determine whether or not your truck is the right truck to tow your fifth wheel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.